Hey, this is Connor with Congruent X, and today I'm gonna show you how to apply ALM practices to external data sources in your Canvas apps. So what do I mean by ALM? It means Application Lifecycle Management. And if you've ever heard anyone talk about dev environments or production environments, that's what we're talking about. The whole idea is you wanna be able to make changes to your system without your end users knowing about those changes until you're ready. This has always been pretty easy to do with Dataverse, but not really possible with external data sources like SharePoint or SQL. Let me show you what I mean. If I go to add a Dataverse table to my app, you can see it says current environment. So as this application moves between environments, it's going to dynamically change the environment my Dataverse tables are looking at. With SQL and SharePoint, that's not really the case. It continues to look at the same exact source no matter what environment you're looking at. Recently, Microsoft made a change where Canvas apps now actually use connection references for certain scenarios. This only works for implicitly secured external connections for now. Using SQL as an example, this feature will only work if you're using SQL authentication. If you're trying to use OAuth or Windows login, this is not gonna work. That's what we call an explicit connection. To show you what we're looking at behind the scenes, I've got one server and two databases. Each of those databases has a table in it, and the table has the same name and the same columns. We've got first name, last name, company name, and I added this field called ALM. That way we can see in the Power App which database we're actually connecting to. So I've got an app, I'm connected to my dev database. We can see this ALM column says dev. So what do I need to do to get this app to use the prod database when I push this to a production environment? In the past, we'd have to manually go through and change all our connections. And if you push an update from dev to production, you gotta do it all over again. If you create a Canvas app within a solution, you'll notice there's actually two things that get added to the solution. Your Canvas app gets added, but there's also a connection reference that I didn't create that gets added to the solution. Now, it doesn't work like really any other connection reference. So if I create a new connection to prod and update the connection that this reference is using, the app is not gonna update. That's not how it works. From what I can tell, the sync between the connections that the app is using and the connection reference the app is using happens when the connections are created. You can't update that on the fly. When you've got a new app, this is really easy. We'll take our solution, export it. For now, we use unmanaged. That's a whole other conversation. What you'll notice is when we import the solution to a new environment, it actually prompts us to create the SQL connection. So we'll go through, create a connection, select SQL Server authentication. We'll use the prod DB database name. So now if we open our app that we just imported with our new production connection, look at that. We see production data. So you're obviously gonna wanna make sure that your table name is exactly the same and your column names are all exactly the same. Otherwise, there's going to be discrepancies and it's not going to work. Now, for the little bit more difficult scenario is if you've got an older app. So to check if your app is using a connection reference in the first place, what you can do is in your solution, click on your app and go to advanced and go to show dependencies. If we go to required objects, you can see that our SQL connection reference is actually a required object. So now I'm gonna show you how to take existing apps and update them to use connection references. In your dev environment, if you look at your dependencies and you don't see connection reference, what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure your app is in a solution and in your app, remove your SQL connections or SharePoint or whatever it is, uh, remove those connections and add them back then save your app. Once you save your app, you should see the connection reference get created in your dev environment. Now, we've got our dev environment using a connection reference. How do we get our production or UAT apps using that same connection reference? And how do we update the connections in those environments? This is where it gets a little tricky. I've updated ours to revert back to the dev environment so we can kind of see the change together. So we've got our two apps in our different environments 
They're using connection references, but they're both pointed to the same SQL dev environment. Well, we're gonna push our solution first so we can make sure the apps are using the same connection reference. That's the key. Okay, from here, what you're likely gonna see is your connection reference is gonna be pointed to dev. If you have the opportunity to create the connection to prod, you're probably gonna be good to go. If your app was already using connection references, then you're gonna have to manually update. And that's what we're looking at here. So I've pushed my solution into the target environment, but because my target app was already using connection references, I'm still stuck on the dev environment. So all I need to do is remove any connections to the SQL server or whatever you're using and add the connections back, making sure I select my prod connection, not my dev connection. And now I can make my changes in dev, push this solution to prod, and it's not gonna overwrite my production app. The dev app will use dev SQL and my prod app will use prod SQL. As you can see, it's all about managing those connection references. Hopefully you all found that helpful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. If you've got any questions, please feel free to reach out to me or congruentx.com. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.